You guys really are amazing. I'm just going through my YouTube analytics here and it's not the first time that I'm on this page, but it always blows my mind. It's amazing what you made this channel over the last year. I started this channel a little over a year ago and it's incredible to see how many views, watch time and subscribers this channel already has. A big thank you to you. Now I'd really like to go deeper into all these analytics because I'm pretty sure there are some interesting statistics to be found. Top countries, bottom countries, something like that. But unfortunately I don't have time. I gotta record new videos for you guys, don't I? So I need someone to have a look at these analytics and turns out there is someone I have in mind. So let's take a closer look. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you, 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 So after traveling through whole Germany, I finally arrived here in Munich at the place of a friend of mine and I asked this friend to analyze the YouTube data. And thankfully he did that and he built the Excel sheet you saw in the last couple of seconds. And he did not only build this Excel sheet, he also recorded how he did it and explains a little bit about that. And the videos where he explains this will come out on the next Fridays, additionally to the existing content, which will of course continue being released just as in the past. And well, let's take a brief look at what he created there and why don't we also take a look at the person who did it. So welcome Manuel. Hi, so here I am and the first time in front of the camera. So I'm not as experienced as Max, of course. So I might be a little bit nervous as you might see. That we all were at the beginning, so. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true probably. So as Max said, it would be great if uh, I could welcome you on board of this video series, which uh, will show you how I created that Excel file, which basically analyzes the data you created. And I think the best way is if we just start having a look at the results, right? Yeah, sounds great. Great, so, so let's do that. <laughs> So in this chart right here, we see the views of the videos on this channel mm -hmm. by the top 10 countries. And we see that we have, in addition to the chart, of course, a table where we can filter data. Mm -hmm. And we have that selected statistics cell up here. Mm -hmm. And I think it might make sense to go to another sheet. So this is the output region sheet right here to see where we can select the statistics. So mm -hmm. up here, because you can see that we have a little table right here to select different statistics. Okay. And we have the data in a more aggregated view. So in that case, those are the regions or the continents actually. Yeah. So Asia, Europe, and so on. Mm -hmm. And Max, I don't know, do you have any kind of well statistic or view or information that you want to have and want to take a look at now? Um, maybe let's take a look at the views again on the upper country sheet. Okay. Uh, so we ahead. already had this selected, I know, yeah. but um, I just wanted to highlight that I find it really cool to see which countries made it into the top 10. Um, obviously, United States, India at the top one and two places. That's not that surprising, I guess. But to see Ukraine, Poland, Vietnam in the top 10 here is really interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely big thanks to these countries. Of course, to all the other countries too. But really nice to see that you made it in there. Yeah, that, that's true. And maybe it might also make sense to have a look at the subscriptions in addition. Yeah. Because there is something like views. Okay, this is what... This is how many people are watching the videos, but how many are really subscribing to the channel yeah. in the end. So let's go back to the output regions and select the subscribers right here. Mm -hmm. And now we just can go back and we have to update that filter so that the chart will update. Yeah. And we can do that in the number filter, top 10, and this is already selected, and we press OK. And now we saw that the chart is updating. Yeah. And yeah, maybe you want to comment on that also. Yeah, um, what we saw and why that is really interesting, as you said, is that the top 10 subscriber countries are not necessarily the same as the top 10 uh, view countries. Because here we have Bangladesh and Pakistan. We don't have Poland and Vietnam, I guess. Yep. And just, just another interesting takeaway to see 
countries where the most views are coming from are not necessarily countries where the most subscribers are coming from. So if you are sitting in Poland, probably time to press <laughs> the subscribe button if you like this channel. But yeah, that was really interesting to see in my opinion. Yeah, that's true to see the difference, right? So yeah. that it's not like views equal to subscriptions. And yeah, maybe let's have a look at one last thing, right? Because yeah. we shouldn't make this too long, right? Because you just should get a general overview. But I think that we should also have a look at the views again, but at the bottom 10, because yeah. there might also be some smaller countries. And just for information, there are more than 200 countries in that statistic. So let's see what are the smaller countries maybe. Mm -hmm. And so we have to go back to the output regions again, change to views, go back to output regions. And now really intuitive, by the way, we go yeah. to our filter number and top 10, and we change the top 10 to the bottom 10. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's what it is actually. It's kind of strange, but as you can see, it works at least. And Max, maybe one last time. Just yeah. comment on that. <laughs> yeah, really just um, amazing to see uh, who's, who's watching that. So we're, we're talking about single views here. So that is yeah. not in thousands, not in hundreds. That's one view here for Northern uh, Mariana Islands, for example. Yeah. So if that's you, clap yourself on the shoulder, <laughs> but... There's also one thing you noticed. Yeah, that's true, because if you look at the uh, data of this year, so January, February 17, well, not a lot happened, right? Yeah. So maybe, guys, I don't know what went wrong, but there is some potential, right? <laughs> I guess I covered the wrong topics there, but maybe one topic you might be interested in, and that's how we close the circle, is this Excel sheet, of course, was built by manual so that we can see what, what happened over the last months and years but also to show you how you might build such a dynamic sheet with a lot of linking and so on. But yeah, why don't you tell the people yeah, what, I can what do you're that. building? So like as Max said, it would be great to see you in that video series. And we will start really basic in the first video, which is coming, I think, right now when yeah. this video is released. And it will just show you what kind of source data we had and how I imported that data into that sheet and how I summarized that data and so on. And in the next videos, this will continue and build up on the previous knowledge we have. And in the end, we will... Well, just see how we can build that dynamic charts with an well integrated Excel workbook. Yeah. And sounds, sounds amazing. Yeah, it would be great to see you there. And that's it for a moment, I think. Yeah. So, so see, you in, see you in the other videos, obviously. These will continue to come out. But if yeah. you like, definitely check this video out. Yeah. And hopefully see you there too. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video. And that's it. Yeah. Bye-bye. Have a great time. Bye. Bye.